Hi everyone, this is Satyam and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another long promised video on biotechnology all about how to write a thesis for a research project. Okay, so previously I have, I have uploaded uh, various videos on biotechnology. Uh, if you haven't watched them, you can go and watch it because it will be really helpful to you if you want to acquire any and every kind of knowledge about biotechnology. The videos are uh, like they are like all about biotechnology and there's a Q&A session also where I have taken up almost all the questions which you guys keep on asking in the comment section. There is another video which is a comparison between BSc Biotechnology and BTEC Biotechnology and uh, yeah, one of the most requested one and I have also uploaded a video on the, the fact that you can consider while taking admission in a biotechnology college and recently I uploaded how to write a synopsis for a research project in biotechnology and now today's video is all about how to write a thesis in case of a research project which you undertake in case of BSc or MSc biotechnology. So today's video will be really helpful to all you guys who have undertaken any kind of research project and is currently studying in BSc Biotechnology or MSc Biotechnology. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with how to write a thesis. And to help you all, I have taken out my uh, thesis from my graduation days. Uh, this is on the topic diabetic foot ulcer. And now let me tell you step by step how you have to proceed with the thesis writing. So this is the first page of the thesis. Uh, here you can see on the leftmost, topmost corner is the university logo and right hand side uh, topmost is the college logo followed by the heading of the thesis followed by submitted by the name of the student, roll number, university followed by under the guidance of name of the guide and his designation and the name of the university. So this will be the first page of your thesis. So this will be the second page of the thesis, the certificate. So it will have the logos on the top followed by uh, a paragraph. The paragraph will mention that this is to certify that this particular student of this particular roll number from this particular college of this particular university has successfully completed the thesis entitled this. So there will be a signature of the guide followed by his designation and the date of completion of the thesis will also be mentioned on the leftmost side. So after the certificate, the third page will be of acknowledgement where you will acknowledge like firstly, I want to thank my parents who gave me this opportunity to be a part of this college and everything. And then you can thank the director, you can thank your guide, you can thank the lab members and every, your friends and everyone. Followed by acknowledgement will be the table of contents. Now this is the most important page of the entire thesis. This has to be written correctly and it has to be in complete accordance with the uh, things written within the thesis. So you can see here I have mentioned point number one introduction then page number from where the introduction begins and then I have I have further written uh, point number 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4 and I have simultaneously mentioned the page numbers also. So you have to mention these things correctly. Next comes the second point, aims and objective. The next comes the third point, materials and methods. Again, corresponding will be the page numbers. Materials and method is the third point and hence I have mentioned everything like 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. What are different kinds of materials and methods? that I have used and uh, then next comes the the discussion fourth point and then fifth is the conclusion sixth is the annexure seventh is the references and correspondingly I have mentioned the page numbers and you have to do the same another important page is the list of tables and figures here you have to carefully mention uh, figure number one then uh, heading of the figure and corresponding will be the page number figure number two three four you have to proceed this way and once you have mentioned all the figures which are there in the thesis then you have to mention the tables as you can see it here table number one then name of the table page number similarly table number two table number three you have to mention all the tables in the thesis as we move further then comes the introduction page so I have written one point introduction so you have to write the introduction and then 1.1 1.2 1.3 you have to proceed this way 
and uh, if you are including any of the picture like I have included here you have to mention figure number one and name of the figure and if you are taking it from a reference paper a research paper you have to mention the research paper then in case you are including any kind of graph in the introduction section name of the graph and if you are taking it from a research paper then mention that too then comes the aims and objectives point number two so you have to write it down to characterize this to characterize this or whatever is your aims and objectives next comes the materials and methods this is third point so it will uh, be continued as 3.1 3.2 3.3 this way next comes the result that is four point and then you have to continue like 4.1 4.2 this way in case you have pictures for your result then include the picture very clearly mention it figure number this and uh, the heading of the uh, picture that that you are including like i have uh, put this picture this is the uh, like uh, plate on which i had grown the bacteria and therefore i have included it in my results uh, next comes the like here you can see the table I have included and I have uh, also mentioned table number 2 and the heading of the table. So you can include it in the results this way. Uh, next I have included these pictures and the bar diagram. So you can include uh, such pictures and bar diagrams in your results. And uh, next comes uh, this. Here again I have cultured the bacteria and therefore I have taken the picture of the plates and I have mentioned. So you can mention such things in your results. It will make your thesis stand out and here I did the antibiotic testing. So the plate with the antibiotic testing done on it I have included in my results. So next comes the conclusion where you'll have to mention in a paragraph like what did you conclude out of this particular research project and then comes the annexure sixth point here in the form of a table I have uh, mentioned the different kinds of antibiotics that I use so abbreviated form and in the full form and the company which manufactured it in annexure you have to mention any kind of shortcuts used within the thesis. And last but not the least comes the references as I told you in my previous video on how to write a synopsis and again the same thing I'll be telling you here also references are the most important part of the thesis. Please write it in the correct format otherwise uh, marks will be deducted. So just read the reference I have uh, written here and you have to follow the same pattern. So what are the things that you have to take care of while writing a thesis is that First of all, you have to be very clear with the kind of topic that has been assigned to you, right? And then you have to accordingly research about the research papers, search them on the internet. And mostly I search them from PubMed Central as I have discussed in my previous video also on how to write a synopsis. So search for the research paper relate on related topics and uh, read them thoroughly. Then you will get to know you will have a clarity regarding the kind of topic which has been assigned to you. Once you have a clarity on the topic, uh, it will be easier for you uh, to write the introductory part of your thesis because we take some paragraphs here and there from different kind of research papers which we read which are in accordance with the kind of topic which we have been assigned. So yeah, next is the, uh, once the topic is clear, then you will be able to frame an objective like why are you carrying forward this particular research on this particular topic so objective has to be very clear and is an integral part of the thesis now once the objective is clear to you you will be able to discuss the layout the planning of how you are going to work in the laboratory on this particular research project so uh, you will be able to design the materials and methods and uh, since this is a five months long project therefore the materials and methods will also be numerous and there will be various species of uh, maybe uh, like according to your topic like mine was diabetic foot ulcer so there were different strains of bacteria as well as fungi which i had taken therefore it took me uh, like entire five months to work on them and i had plethora of results collected and so yeah so you will have to have a framework on which you will have to work collect the results and then the next thing that you have to be pro with is MS Office. That means MS Word, MS uh, PowerPoint, like uh, MS uh, PowerPoint and uh, MS Excel. Because 
you will have to uh, note down the data and accordingly sometimes you will have to frame a table on ms excel sometimes you will have to uh, like you know frame the pie chart bar diagram so you should have an idea how you work with ms excel how and you have to type your thesis in ms word therefore you have to have an idea and moreover there will be a final presentation of your thesis towards the end of your project so you have to know about the powerpoint presentation and everything and you have to be pro at them you have to use uh, really good templates and fonts and everything to make everything stand out so yeah and moreover there are different kinds of uh, like uh, tools in case of biotechnology different kinds of equipments which you should uh, learn how to use them during the course of your research project like uh, when i was uh, carrying forward this research on diabetic foot ulcer i had to work on pcr machines i had to do uh, genome sequencing i had to run the uh, agarose gel and i had to get the films of dna and there were various things and lot of precision and patience is required so you get to learn a lot of techniques as well but you have to be uh, focused and you have to be ready to learn all the time so yeah these are some of the things while uh, these are some of the things which you have to take care of while uh, uh, you know writing a thesis and while during the entire tenure of the research work so i have included almost everything that you need to take care of while writing a thesis so write a good one because the entire marks of the entire semester depends upon your thesis and the presentation of the thesis so present it well be ready with the answers uh, to the questions that can be asked to you uh, for that get to know your topic very well and hope today's video was interesting to you i have uh, like shown different parts of my thesis hope you have understood that in case you get stuck anywhere while writing your thesis anywhere in between feel free to ask me in the comment section or you can inbox me on my instagram handle satyam creations and also if you have any video suggestions please feel free to post that in the comment section too and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified any further i'll see you in my next video till then stay tuned keep watching keep smiling bye bye take care